Matt Erpelding, Vice President of Government and Community Relations at the Boise Metro Chamber of Commerce. Last week, I spoke about the first action taken by Congress, a bill known as the Coronavirus Response and Preparedness Supplemental Appropriation. That bill largely dealt with emergency SBA loans, but now Congress has passed and the President has signed a new bill called the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. This act will be in full effect on April 2nd and provides employees and employers with several options, including expanded unemployment, expanded FMLA, and access to sick leave. This is part of a three-part series to help you understand this legislation. This video is about the newly expanded unemployment compensation. The bill provides an additional $1 billion for state unemployment programs and authorizes extended unemployment benefits beyond the usual 26 weeks. This is fully funded by the federal government for states that experience increased unemployment as a result of the coronavirus. Called the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, it provides up to 39 weeks of unemployment insurance and includes those folks who are typically not included in unemployment. This includes self-employed workers and gig workers. Today, the governor has taken multiple steps through an executive order to move Idaho into alignment with the federal legislation. This includes waiving the one week wait period before someone is eligible to apply for uninsurance and waiving the chargeback and impacts to employers. We have attached information below to help direct you or any of your employees that you have had to furlough or lay off to help them access unemployment insurance and hopefully help them through this difficult time. I'll be back with video two and video three, paid sick leave and extended FMLA. Thanks again and be safe.